We would be honored if you would join us. Hey, hey, everyone. We're looking at Pippin today from the Lord of the Rings Diamond Select Toys action figure line. I just uh, took a look at Merry. He was a very nice looking action figure. And it's, uh, yeah, again, with these two, it does it. it finishes the fellowship um, in this line of action figures. So here on the back, you've got Series 5, which is uh, Lurtz and Boromir. Season 6 was Samwise and Saruman. Um, and I did state in the last video that the next couple of series, I think Series 7, or this is Series 7, sorry, Series 8 will be Eowyn and the Witch King from Return of the King. And then Series 9 will be uh, Old Bilbo Baggins. And maybe it's Young Bilbo, I can't remember. Pretty sure it's Old Bilbo Baggins and um, Gandalf the White. So I'm excited about adding those ones as well, probably over the next 12 months at some some point. But um, yeah, I'm not going to bother with filming the uh, opening of this. We're just going to uh, bust it all open and then we'll take a look at what's inside. All right, here is Pippin out of the packaging with all his accessories. Um, yeah, this one's this one's a cool one too. I immediately noticed from the get-go that they've pretty much reused the exact same bottom half, like the pants and the legs are exactly the same as what they use for Merry. And uh, why not? I don't see the issue with it. Um, it works. It's uh, kind of a no-brainer. Um, <laughs> so I'm pretty sure that's the extent of it. The rest of it is obviously pretty much new. Maybe the hands? I don't know. We're going to take a look at the accessories. So he does come with a open hand Which, you know these, these some of these joints with diamond select toys some of the plastic can be a little bit stiff um, so I definitely recommend using a little bit of heat whether you put in some boiling water before giving these joints a first go I'm being very uh, taking a very big risk here I think I don't know I, whether it's because they just sort of go in the packaging painted or you know this is sort of you can sort of see that paint being removed from the uh, middle of the hinge there, but I don't foresee any point where I'm going to have the hand sort of held out like that anyway. So into the accessory box that spare hand goes, I don't really feel the need to uh, have both hands out on display. He too comes with his uh, Stein. They come in paints. That looks quite good. Would have been cool to have one with a little bit of foam on the top, but maybe uh, you know, a little bit of cotton wool you could stick a little bit in there and you could look like the uh, head of a beer. That'd be pretty cool. So that's nice. Um, he, I love this accessory, the uh, the firework, the dragon firework. I vaguely remember it being on a longer stick than that, but that's all right, not a big deal. You know, I'm carrying it around. <laughs> I think that looks quite cool. It's made of a soft plastic, so it's not going to break. Um, maybe that's a little bit on the soft side, but you know, again, this is just a nice bonus. It's not something that I'm going to display for my collection personally. I just think it's a it's a very cool accessory. Maybe at some point we'll get uh, Gandalf's little cart full of fireworks. We can just throw this one in there. But yeah, that's nice. It's a nice accessory, a nice cool little bonus. And I sort of mentioned uh, in the last one, it's interesting how Diamond Select, when they do their solicitations for their figure releases, they pretty much just show the figure and then they do the accessories later. Um, it's not until they start hitting you start knowing what's coming out. Um, but yeah, we've got a pipe here as well, which is, which is cool. Unfortunately, really sort of soft plastic. So yeah, probably not something I will... I'll be using, I just, yeah, if that was cast in a nice sort of stiffer plastic, it's like, a, you know, the frying pans sort of are the ones that came with Mary, whereas the pipe here, yeah, it's just a very skinny little, little thing, and if you can get him to hold it and get it looking right, it's, it's probably pretty cool, but, um, yeah, save the risk of losing it, I'll probably just put that aside. And just look after it and just keep it aside. Maybe for a photo or something, I'll take it out and, and try and pose him up with it. But 
but I appreciate the addition anyway. I think it's cool, just not super practical. And last but not least, we get his scabbard and sword. In a nice design. I think it was the same, pretty much the same as Mary's. Let's have a look. Slightly different in size. Pippin's is a little bit bigger. But, uh, yeah, there's a sword. And that fits in there nicely. So onto the figure. Let's look at Pippin. I think this is a pretty damn good likeness of uh, Billy Boyd there. I think the sculpt is remarkable. A few sort of images, a few photos, like pre-release images, where it's like, eh, maybe they didn't quite get it, but now that it's in hand, yeah, they, they definitely got it. I think it looks good. Considering I don't believe these are all sort of painted with uh, with the computers yet, with the, like the dot matrix sort of print. These are still... You know, the old way. I don't know this necessarily by hand, but I don't know the inner workings of uh, Diamond Select Toys in there and their factory. But <laughs> let's uh, pop his head off. Get that cape off. The cape is also the same as the one that came with Mary. Again, painted nicely. Oh, the weathering around the edges there. And yeah, I think I mentioned as well with the Merry, the sort of the darker sort of looking green in the cracks in the in the grooves just gives it that nice sort of multi-layered look. But he's also got his scarf, which is cool. I'm gonna pop his head back on. Nice tight fit on there. But yeah, good to get a nice close-up look. I like the scarf, I think that's nicely painted. That might be a digital application, I'm not sure. It looks like it is. If you get right up close, you can kind of see the uh, you can kind of see the pixels in there. So that looks good. Yeah, I'm just gonna compare the mold of the sleeves. They're different. Maybe the top half is the same mold. Bottom half slightly different. Again, why change it? Yeah, you can sort of see this, the top half of the sleeve there is the same mold. But again, it doesn't really matter, you know. They're both vastly different in colour. And, you know, if it means a little bit of... a little bit of extra money in the budget for something else, perfect. So again, with this one, I'm not going to go over the articulation and all that. You can kind of see where it's where it's happening. But yeah, very excited to have Mary and Pippin in the collection. They look fantastic. These hairy feet, the brown pants. Actually, a little bit of paint coming off the back joint there, but you know, he's not going to be facing that way on the shelf, so it is what it is. So, I'm going to do what I did with Mary and try and get this uh, cloak on, and I did it already, so <laughs> that worked out well. Let's give him his uh, sword, which is hard to pick up. So there's little old Pip, Mr. Peregrine Took. And uh, yeah, Merry and Pippin together. Hobbit besties. Really nice together. Super cool. Yeah, really happy with these two. Very nice addition to the uh, Lord of the Rings collection. Very excited to see where uh, where else Diamond Select can take this take this line. Like I said, there's a uh, there's Eowyn, the Witch King, Bilbo Baggins, um, Gandalf the White. I'd love to see Aemir, 
Faramir, Faramir, oh. <laughs> Faramir, um, I think I said it already, um, I think I said it right the first time, um, yeah, maybe King Theoden, King Aragorn, you know, throw some stuff out there, let's do, some, let's have some fun with it, but again, I'm, I'm more than happy to have a, you know, four or five figures a year, I think that's plenty, that's enough for me, just to keep the line going, it doesn't need to be over flooded with everything, but, um, yeah, if they if they decide to touch on the Hobbit and start getting those dwarves out, I'm all in. I'm all in. Yeah, unfortunately, the uh, the toy company that was making the figures when the Hobbit came out, they sort of really they really lost the footing on that on those lines, and uh, you know had the potential to be great, but yeah, did did not pan out that way. <laughs> but nevertheless, here's Merry and Pippin Diamond Select toys. They're killing it. I'm really enjoying this line. Um, Thank you very much for watching. I'd love to hear what your thoughts are. Let me know in the comments. And uh, we'll see you at some point in the future with more Lord of the Rings videos. But if you're into Star Wars, subscribe to my channel. Give the video a thumbs up. And uh, we'll see you again soon.